What's up guys, it's Shay here. Um, so I got this uh book right here. Yeah, I got this Jojo 625 one, not 6521. I was mistakenly saying that a lot last night, but um I got it today and I just wanted to say that this book is really freaking nice. To me. Like it's really freaking good. It's basically just I'm pretty sure everybody already knows what JoJo six two five one is. It's basically just an or for those who don't know what it is, it is basically just an art book of you know of what Hirohiko Araki has done um, over the years. You know with JoJo and even with some of his um, other works, which are also in here as well. Some it's some pictures and stuff in here from his old from some of his other works. Some some works that he's done before JoJo. Uh, so that's like so that's pre nineteen eighty seven pretty much. Um, let's take a look at this book actually. I was gonna post some stuff on Instagram, but hey, might as well gonna put it up here and show the world first. So, um, let's see, what we got we have everything from uh, ranging from parts one to four. So sadly, there's no part five or six in here. Sadly, or no part seven. No parts after part four are featured in this book. Sadly, which I would really love to have seen some of that stuff in here, but sadly, no, they they don't exist in this book. Um, cause I think this book was made, I think sometime before he actually started on part five. So yeah, we'll start with a random page here. We got this right here. Um, a lot of part three art. There's a lot of good amount of part three artwork in here, but however, though, one cool thing is the very beginning. When you first open up the book, you get this right here. You see this, this is a picture. We're going to open this up right quick. <clears throat> if I can open it up, open this up. All the way it's two sides of this too so open it up get it out this way we get a really cool picture of the four first four jojo so that's ranging from jonathan all the way up to josuke on the other side you get a really nice shot if also if i open up this up as well you get this really really long and really beautiful freaking art piece i i can't even i mean i don't even have a good place to set this up at but that's the best i can get it to show everybody Look at that. That's that's cool. You get characters ranging, I think, if not every character from, actually, from parts two to four, I think. Cause I don't see any part one characters up here. But we get part characters from parts two and four, because we can, we can see the Pillar Man up here. Let's see if I can get a good thing. I don't know. Uh, I would have to probably do this on a tripod, so that way, I don't know, maybe use this as, like, the thumbnail or something. But this is a really cool, really cool thing. So I was already intrigued when I first saw this piece right here. And the other thing is this right here. You get another shot of the first four JoJo's, which is really cool. Ranging from, I love how it technically goes in reverse from Josuke to Jonathan all the way back here. So that's really cool. Um, I'm going to close this up. Hold this up a bit. Close this back. We get a lot of manga covers here from like, you know, part four. Um, one shot that I think is one of the coolest ones or like one of the actually i think it's some somewhere back here back before this i think it's in the very beginning of the part four page this this one right here is also really cool only if this motherfucker wasn't here like what what is what reason does he have to be here he ain't part of the main freaking lineup um got all these nice stuff the picture i'm talking about is right here god do you see this you see this freaking thing hang on let me let me let me get into a better shot of that let me let y'all see that y'all see freaking see that it says up there, I think it says, I'm I'm here for you, pretty much, which is really cool. Someone that I know will go hella crazy over this freaking thing. One of, if not one of my other favorite things here is this right here. This little picture of, of Jotaro with a Formula One car. So, I do not know, I do not, first off, I do not know that Araki was into racing. He, apparently, he's a big fan of um Ayrton Senna if I'm saying his name correctly the um if not one of the I think one of the best F1 drivers of his time he sadly passed away about 29 years ago so um yeah uh, but I really like this picture right here so we have other works of you know so this is from like Gordas Irene some of his other works from this is like I think what either a year or two before Jojo has first been serialized or had first even been created um, so this is some really, really cool stuff, dude. Um, then we have the whole timeline here. For anybody who has this book, you already know, um, what this, what this does. And I really like the timeline, like the character profiles, it's, you know, it just shows up a lot of stuff. Confirms a lot of things for me because, you know, for some of the stuff, I'm still kind of confused. I'm like, oh yeah, how, how, when did this happen? Or like, how did that happen? Whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this book. Um, I really wanted to show this off to the world, um, in case no one actually, um, 
because some people don't have this. But this book recently just came out, well, for over here in the U.S. This book has technically been out in Japan. It's been out, I think, ever since it came out, which is like, what, 30 years ago, right, pretty much? And it just got released over here in the U.S. 30 years later. Uh, technically, last, or just a couple days ago, pretty much. It, it released on Tuesday of this week. So, well, as I'm recording this video. So, yeah, that is something and i don't know man what what took i wonder what took it so long to get released over here into the u.s pretty good book i like it and i recommend it to any jojo fans so with that being said that's all i want to talk about and i'll see you guys next time bye guys